Treasure Valley Gardener. How you doing? Today I'm out here in my raspberry patch and I'm getting them all ready for the growing season. So if you're thinking of planting a few raspberries in your garden, there's a few things that you should know. First of all, you want lots of sun. If you can provide afternoon shade, that's a good thing, but otherwise they should have full sun. Second thing is really good soil drainage. Raspberries can have a tendency to rot if they're sitting in a boggy soil, so make sure your soil drains well. And then the third thing that's a bonus is wind protection, if possible. Another thing that's really important about growing raspberries, especially everbearing, because they produce for so long, is having some sort of support system. So as you can see here, I have a raspberry cage for these. This is something that's made out of copper pipe that my husband built years ago. But you can fashion something like this with wood or wooden string. There's a, a whole bunch of different ideas and plans available online to build your own raspberry support trellis. So what I like about this style of cage, whether it be wood or copper or whatever else, is it has the two layers of support. So it does support the canes loosely as they grow up. And then once they get very tall, typically they will grow taller than this level of cage. You can tie the individual canes to the, the uh, support system. And this will keep them from blowing all over the place and becoming tangled. Now, another option that's simpler, if you come back this way, for the golden raspberry plant, I am just using a cage that I purchased quite a long time ago. Um, I've simply put it over the plant. It will grow up and the holes, of course, are big enough for me to reach through and pick the raspberries. And then any canes that grow on the outside, I can still easily tie them up with a piece of garden twine. So in this area, I have three red everbearing raspberries. And then back here, I have one golden raspberry. And I really like everbearing raspberries for this climate because they begin pr producing around midsummer and they produce all the way through first of November. So it's a really long season. Each spring, I add a bit of elemental sulfur to the roots around the plant. The soil takes it and oxidizes it and turns it into sulfuric acid. And that acidifies the soil, which reduces the pH of the soil and basically protects the plant from developing iron chlorosis throughout the growing season. So when you're adding any sort of soil amendment, you just wanna follow the directions on the back of the package. And so this says here for flowering plants, flowering plants, one to two tablespoons per plant. I've actually already scattered it on all of these plants except this one. Typically, I'm just eyeballing this. I don't do it precisely. I know this is not something that's going to burn the plant. So I can just spread it around like I have all the other plants. I'm going to trim these last two canes right down at the ground level. So the last thing I'm going to be doing this afternoon is adding um, some fertilizer to these raspberry plants. And I've chosen one that's water soluble. It's a gradual release. And I'm just going to be sprinkling it around the plant, which I've already done most of them, except for this one here in the front. And then I will be working both of the amendments into the soil, just lightly. You don't need to dig real deep. Um, this fertilizer is a 332, so it's not really heavy on nitrogen. That way I, I, real, I know that the plants won't burn and they should get food throughout the growing season. Then I'm just taking a shovel. I'm going to work it around, work it in slightly on the top of the soil. And then once that is done, I will take the mulch I have, cover it back up and water everything in. So if you have an interest in raspberries in your garden, I hope you'll pick up some. Spring is a great time for planting them. And thanks for watching.